Welcome to the studio. Today, we're looking at the Sobel SV06 Plus Ace, a larger version of the original SV06 Ace from a few months ago. I'll try and keep this short since it's basically the same printer, just bigger. We'll go through its features, how it stacks up against the competition, print results, and my final thoughts on who this machine is for. And at the end, I'm gonna share what I think is missing, just like the original Ace. Now, I've tested a lot of printers here, but this one, at this price point, and with this feature set, has the potential to really shake things up in the large format bed slinger market. If you're considering a Prusa Mark IV, a Bamboo Lab A1, or Elegoo's Neptune series of plus size printers, listen up. The SV06 Plus Ace not only competes, but it does with a larger build volume, high speed performance, easy assembly, and that makes it one of the most approachable big printers on the market. Let's talk about setup because I know that's a big factor. Whether you're new to 3D printing or just wanna get up and running fast, Sobel kept it simple. In fact, my oldest son Van put this together for me and he had it done in about 20 minutes. Everything snapped into place easily and the paper manual that comes with it is absolutely perfect. Uh, there's no overcomplicated instructions, no extra hassle, pretty basic. For beginners, the guided process of putting this machine together is pretty simple. And for experienced users, Everything is what you'd expect, and uh, you might even appreciate these uh, reinforced braces on the back, which are gonna help keep the gantry stable, especially at high speeds. Now, powering it on, you are met with a 4.3 inch touchscreen that greets you with a startup wizard that handles all the bed leveling and input shaping calibration right from first boot. That means no manual tweaking, it just works, and the interface, of course, simple, responsive, and well-designed, making it easy to navigate for anyone. Let's talk speed because that's what everyone wants to know about. The SV06 Plus Ace advertises speeds of up to 500 millimeters per second with 15,000 millimeters per second squared acceleration. Now that's just a little bit slower than the regular Ace, which makes sense with this larger bed that it has to throw around. Another major feature is the advanced resonance compensation, like the original SV06 Ace. This actively detects and neutralizes vibrations that would normally cause ringing or ghosting in high speed prints. The result? Crisp, clean details, even at these higher speeds. And then there's pressure advance, something we've been seeing more often on high-speed printers. This basically optimizes extrusion flow, reducing blobs, oozing, and ensuring sharp, well-defined corners in all of your prints. If you've struggled with blobby edges or inconsistent flow, this is what this feature is for. A printer's hardware can make or break it, and Sobel brought some pretty serious upgrades here. First, let's talk about the reinforced frame. The SV06 Plus Ace now has gantry braces on the back, which help stabilize the Z-axis at high speeds. This is a big deal, especially for a 300 by 300 by 350 millimeter build volume, where taller prints are more prone to wobble. And speaking of stability, this machine, like the original Ace, has upgraded 10 millimeter Z-axis guide rods up from the standard eight millimeter, ensuring that the gantry stays rock solid during fast movements. Combine that with dual independent Z motors and you get precise, consistent performance with minimal tweaking. Like no tweaking, I should say, not minimal. I haven't had to tweak anything. The extruder is Sobel's planetary dual gear drive and it's got some serious grip. Even trying to manually pull filament out, like seriously, it's not happening. That extra grip ensures consistent extrusion, whether you're printing with PLA, TPU, PTG, or ABS. It also has a ceramic heater hot end with the 300C max nozzle temperature, meaning you can print a variety of materials. Just keep in mind, it's not enclosed, so higher temp filaments like nylon or polycarbonate won't be happening. Another small but smart addition, metal bearings and upgraded XY axis tracks for better durability. That means less wear and tear over time and a longer lifespan for the machine. User experience is something Sobel has been improving, and it shows. The 4.3 inch touchscreen is clean, it's easy to navigate, and it just makes sense. You're not digging through confusing menus, it's all right there in front of you. And as for connectivity, Wi-Fi support lets you start, stop, and monitor your prints remotely, something that's basically become a must have now. But if you prefer keeping things local, USB is still an option. It also includes a camera for live monitoring and time lapses, which is a great bonus. Whether you're at home or away, you can check on your prints and see how they're coming along. And of course, this printer is clipper powered, meaning over the air firmware updates and access to remote management tools. Updates are frequent and easy, which is a big step forward compared to the old days when firmware updates were rare. Let me also add that Sobel has made a real push to focus on their printers being open source and supporting the community however and whenever they can. Another key feature is the dual high flow cooling fans on the tool head. 
Keeping things cool during high-speed printing is critical, and this setup does a solid job without being overly loud. The bed is a dual-sided black PEI coated steel plate, which provides strong adhesion, of course, and makes removing prints super easy. Just a little flex. The max bed temp is 100 C, so you're covered for materials like PLA, uh, PETG, ABS, and TPU. Solvable made maintenance simple with the built-in tensioning knobs on the X and Y axes. Whether you're a beginner or an experienced user, this is a time saver. No need for extra tools, just a little turn on each axis to keep everything nice and tight. Now let's talk price. Sobel is launching this at an amazing price of just, are you ready? $299 for limited time, which considering the larger size and upgraded features is a solid deal. The final price will be around $349, and even then, this is an aggressively priced machine. Large format, helmet class, loaded for $350 or less, right, right now $299, crazy. It competes directly with the Bamboo Lab A1, the Prusa Mark IV, and of course, like I mentioned earlier, Elegoo's Neptune series of printers, but at a significantly lower cost. So, who is this printer for? Well, honestly, just about everyone. If you're a beginner, the easy setup, auto leveling, and guided UI make it a great first printer. If you're an experienced user, the speed, stability, and clipper integration make it a powerful addition to your setup. And if you need a larger build volume without breaking the bank, this might be one of the best budget-friendly big printers available right now. But let's be real, what's missing? Do you know already what I'm about to say? It's multicolor 3D printing. At this point, bed slinger speed is maxed out. We're already at 500 and 600 millimeters per second with fantastic print quality. The next evolution is multicolor and multi-material support. That's what we want to see. Now in the past, Sobel mentioned working with Coprint for the SV08. And actually, I have a Coprint unit here and I've run it on a few machines. So if you wanna see me add it to this printer, let me know in the comments. What do you think? Would this be a game changer if it was multicolor? A huge thank you to our YouTube and Patreon members I literally couldn't do this without you. Thanks for watching this updated SV06 Ace Plus video, and I will see you in the next one. It is insane to think that just a few years ago, helmet class 3D printers, even, even just rock bottom, no features, were 399, 449, 450. And now we're seeing clipper bed slingers fully loaded at 300 millimeters and larger for this price. Whew. Crazy. Anyway, yeah, click the links, go look at it. Great, great machine.